time I'm gonna wear block fan skin as requests from my subscribers and this time I also bring peeper not abnormal and I'm gonna tell you why yeah. I'm gonna tell you why I know someone is hiding behind these walls and a map like arms factory and also red shirt is also a it's really annoying to be honest for the sub player yeah because there are many walls there are many palettes and on this stage yeah i don't know why my hand button i mean like my hit hit button didn't work i could give easy terror shock not gonna lie though it could be an easy terror shock but uh, i'm not sure yeah why yeah sometimes it's like the the the, the button kind of like a uh, frozen you know like like didn't didn't give any response even though my phone is not a potato trust me it's not a potato at all i've been talking about this like many times <laughs> back to topic about the peeper peeper is really helpful to be honest but well you cannot really see the benefit on safe replay unless i recorded the gameplay when i play like like my my previous gameplay yeah, when i just got this new phone but to be honest recording while playing this heavy game is really really bad impact to your phone it's really heavy for your phone so it could cause maybe like more glitch or anything and i don't want that to happen i know there is prisoner here and it's gonna be really risky to bring peeper but again like i told you before many walls many pallets it's really bad actually for geisha maybe some of you will gonna say why don't you bring bling like any other pro geisha players <laughs> well 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 let me tell you something yeah trade persona and whatever your strategy is find the best one for yourself find the best version for yourself why not you can have your own your own strategy right why not if it works you know let's say like for some geisha men to bring bullying then good for them but i know my bullying hit is not the best it's not the best but i know i'm really good with peeper as for small map like arms factory and red shirt well sometimes it works sometimes it didn't work sometimes i bring up normal and especially after you ranking up more you will understand how much you need abnormal since the beginning since the early game because the side rush is crazier okay you can tilt you can tilt your camera angle just like that to hit them easier when you know that like, like 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 one of them or two of them like that wants to body block like crazy yep enchantress gonna try to stun me and again yeah when i see enchantress actually i prefer to bring paper Enchantress is really good behind walls and Peeper might counter Enchantress, not gonna lie though. I was a batch Enchantress before on Asia, also a batch Entomologist, Mind's Eye, and S batch Officer. So yeah, but I don't have batch as Geisa as simple as because the competition here on Asia suffers is freaking crazy for Geisa character. I mean like last time when I got my new phone, I ranking up so freaking fast. I supposed to have like a batch or even S batch if I play on Euro and Acer for that time for my points. My points is really high. Like I forget that how high is it. But on Asia server, I don't even have C batch. Why? Because many people play on Asia server and also use Kisa. So the competition is freaking crazy. It's driving me nuts. But you know what? I also don't have that much time. So I understand. I understand really well. I mean like. They deserve more to have bachelor than me. But when I have time, I play. When I have time, I play. Uh, I play rank match. But I cannot play that much yet. I I I have works in in real life and many other things to do. I also have my second channel now. So it's really busy. It's really really crazy. I was thinking why they didn't finish the cipher in the middle. I know it's shaking so hard. It's wiggling so hard. Ayo, I'm so tired, so let me just hit you because the cypher is already accelerated, so it's gonna it's gonna be finished really fast. Actually I can go through that go through that uh that crack though, but no. I was thinking okay let me just give double down so making sure that they cannot rush the cypher really fast. And finally can take down the prisoner. Yep. Enchantress is decoding like crazy, I bet. I was thinking, okay, 
Okay, I think I can get four kills. After this, I'm gonna come to them. You know, like going closer to enchanters and also grave keeper. Yep. Yep. Not prime. I was thinking, okay, it's not prime. Then good for me. Let me just take down grave keeper first and then going back to enchantress. Can I get you? Can I get you? Okay, let's see what happened here. I was thinking to okay. Oh, I didn't have chance to use up normal on this on that on that cypher machine and enchantress finish it. But suddenly this is happening. Suddenly this is happening. Oh my freaking god. Enchantress finished the last cypher in the middle. I knew it. I saw that the cypher in the middle is waggling very very fast. Oh my god. And there is this dungeon over here. I think Enchantress is gonna try to kite me around. And then after Gravekeeper going out uh, through the that exit, get the other one. Enchantress we're gonna try to go to dungeon. This is freaking crazy though. I was I was so worried that Enchantress will gonna make it though. That's that's a really good strategy. I bring my desperate fight every time I see a stunner character. So let's say they stun me over and over again. I gotta get recovered faster and faster. Okay, thank you for resetting that palette destruction animation though. <laughs> okay, Gravekeeper is gone now. The dungeon is open. Oh my god. Okay, that's freaking close though. That's a good strategy from the enchanters, not gonna lie though. Very good, very good. Finally, I could, I could, <laughs> I could, I could get a window. I mean, like that's freaking crazy, though. So yep, back to topic. No matter what is your trait, what is your strategy, find the best one for you. Find the best version for you. You you gonna try to you know like adjusting your strategy, adjusting your trait after you're ranking up more and more. Like I told you earlier, when you're reaching saber tooth, let's say saber tooth two or one. You're gonna feel that the cypher rush is crazier than before and you might need to bring up normal every single time and it's really tiring you know uh currently i i am in monte court here but the reason why i didn't bring up normal on early game like i told you before because this is a really small map with many walls and i hate that just like red shirt and the peeper we're gonna help me a lot to see behind walls you cannot really see on the safe replay but on real match you can try it it's really really helpful to see to see everything transparent behind walls and it's gonna be really a big counter for character like character like enchanters that like to you know like kiting behind walls charging curse and stunning you every time or maybe assisting the first victim so that's the video for today i hope you enjoy it don't forget to leave your thumbs up and also to leave your comment down below if you're new to this youtube channel don't forget to click the subscribe button i see you again on my next video bye bye